Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another real board video. Today we are going over, uh, as you can see in the corners, we've got um, Hanin Bodosaku playing against an interesting player. An interesting player. Uh, Minamisato Yohei, who is Mr. Tengen. That is right. That is right. He's Mr. Tengen. He's Mr. Tengen. In the 1600s, uh, and again, I can't read the date of when this was played, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, when this was played, believe it or not, as black, he had a tendency to open up with the Tengen against the likes of Honin Bodosaku. Now, again, very, very unusual, I think given the time period. White takes not the 3-4. Black, on the other hand, does. Now, Dosaku is still... Dosaku is still Dosaku. He, he seems to be a bit of an aggressive player. So, he has no problem, apparently, just jumping on in and approaching rather than letting his opponent build however he feels like. Black backs off. Something that we probably wouldn't consider right now. Uh, in mind with the 10 game, we'd probably be uh, more inclined to play some kind of pincer. White responds, getting himself a base. Not even going too far for the base either. I mean, we could theoretically play here, but it does leave a weak point behind. This says I'm going to be nice and stable. Uh, downside of that is maybe we get to uh, pincer this later on, or we can kick or something, or we could even keep it low if we really, really, really want to go after the influence. But for now, for now, for now, for now, we're going to the 3-4 stone instead. Or make, getting a 3 4 stone for ourselves instead, my bad. So, so far, so good as it were. Um, was this at the time of No Komi? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. At the time of No Komi, there was a player who was playing in the center of the board. And his name was Min. I just butchered his name. Minamasato Yohei. Now, I would assume that the last open corner would be pretty good for white. It does leave a possibility, on the other hand, for black to keep developing however he feels like. Apparently that's not something that Dosaku was really into. And again, he approaches. So his method of dealing with the center stone, apparently, is to play super aggressively. Now, sign of the times again, we see this particular pincer. I mentioned last video, uh, not one that we normally see, but okay, sure. Changing directions, ensuring that, uh, let's say, for sake of argument, let's just say that we tried to settle in here. One thing that you wouldn't wind up seeing is maybe your opponent getting a wall and still being able to extend and use his uh, little center stone, for example. Or if we leaned here, we're not going to see uh, something like this with still development taking place. Instead, with white taking this for himself, Black has to decide how many stones he wants to invest against the one stone. Is he going to invest one? And if so, where? This lets it run away. This potentially lets it live locally. Uh, the influence, of course, resulting in a wall facing white stone. Not the greatest of things ever. In light of the fact that this wall doesn't seem like it's going to be very useful, Black kicks. White takes, 
I want to say White takes the open corner, but he's playing a four, a uh, uh, four five stone. So he's not, or five four stone, I guess you'd call it. So he's technically not actually going after the corner. The corner is still very much open. He's in fact with uh, each move, he's kind of encouraging his opponent to try and take the territory, which would offset the Tengen stone. Same thing here. We're inviting white to or black to uh, take the corner, which might potentially offset the Tengen stone. So, interesting choice there. Uh, black plays here. White attaches. And then we see something very unusual. Instead of playing a variation like this, which might allow your opponent to play backwards and then extending, or maybe given the time period, maybe even just playing here, uh, having your opponent get a base and then play something like this. Instead of a variation like that, instead of a variation like that, He threatens to cut through here. Uh, I don't think this is a Jiseki, though I could be wrong. But White gets to follow up. A lot of choices to follow up. We could follow up here. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, we would back off. White would go into the corner. And then I guess we would play here. we could play something passive but now we're probably just going to not even uh, help that stone because of the amount of AG it still has. It can still Hane not really in danger, it's got four or three liberties can still extend, can still Hane who knows what we play at that point what types would be a bit more aggressive and play here now this is interesting, because we also ensure that we can't just play, whoops, need a black stone. We ensure that we can't just play here, because when we try to Hane, we're just going to get cut. So we have to be kind of careful with um, how we handle this. This is also awkward, because if we make this particular shape, you can see that this stone is pointing nicely at uh, the shape point. So we're nice and ready to get a nice firm grip on this uh, group and see what it wants to do next. So it's commanding its shape point that's not there yet. White must decide what to, or black must decide what to do next. He decides he's not going to do anything next, and he's just going to build the side of the board. White takes a corner. As we see here, pretty straightforward stuff. Leans to develop rather than just try and play for territory. He's trying to make use of his Tengen stone. So he's going to keep white low and see if he can't develop this area. Because we're shoulder hitting the white stone, there are a couple of things we don't want to ignore. We do not want to ignore shoulder hits. We've mentioned that in our basic series repeatedly. Uh, we also don't want to ignore attachments. We would definitely respond to a thing like this. Don't want to ignore any of these. The other one is we usually don't want to ignore caps as well because the follow-ups are pretty large and severe. So we're not going to ignore this stone because the follow-up here completely cuts that stone off. That's, that's really big. That would be really big. So we're not going to ignore that. We're going to play like so. Black says, do I get a large wall? And white says, yes, you do. 
Now, what's interesting about uh, moves of the time is I constantly see moves like this. And I think I've got a game two lined up after this where we see another interesting defensive Gote move that is played. Seems like Cosmic Style Go by Black here. I know, right? This is like the beginnings of Cosmic Go. I would... I, I wonder if some of the Cosmic players have had actually studied these weirder, older games in which there's someone who just thought to experiment with that that kind of style. But yeah, they are very interesting though. And finding out that there are things like this that existed hundreds of years ago, it it's crazy. Responds nice and strong. Threatening to cut through again. Again, white responds. And now black has a nice solid wall. Even if that wall is in Gote, even if that wall is in Gote, we can clearly see that he's finally able to develop something with his Tengen Stone. In fact, we could even continue this even further. Like right now, like even right now, for example, we could envision a follow-up here, right? Because this doesn't work, right? We could envision this Similarly not working very well because of the cut. We could envision the cut having a very big problem with it because we're just going to Atari it up. And then what? What happens to this part of the board if we do that, right? So there are enormously large moves on the board right now and one of which would be this shoulder hit. I would love to see that shoulder hit played in this game. Absolutely love it. Because it's just such a pain to deal with. I don't know what the proper response is to this. I can recognize that it's large, but I have absolutely no idea how I would respond to this in a game. Um... I mean, you would kind of want to go here and hope your opponent pushes and cuts. So you could um, wind up playing the Atari and then taking this. I mean, we'd kind of want to do that. But it probably wouldn't go that way. I think instead, rather than push through and cut, your opponent would probably just play here and try and take all that for themselves. So I don't, I don't like this move either. I have no idea how he would respond to that stone. No clue. But all right, we're now facing uh, this, and Honin Bodosaku has to decide how he's going to deal with it. He decides to jump on in, completely fearless. We decide which way we want to go with this. We could jump up here with Blackstone. That's very, very far, right? And we've got room to make a base. We've got room to uh, poke. And we can jump out. That's a lot of forcing moves, right? So we, we probably need to do something to control this. We can't just be like, all right, I'm going to surround everything. Because there's too much room back in here. There's too much flexibility. Similarly, we wouldn't want to do this. It's too slow. That allows the opponent to jump out. The shoulder hit. Do a lot of stuff. So black decides we're going to cap. And white says, screw you, I'm out of here. And black says, no, screw you. 
you're staying with me. So we've got a fight going on here. Honginbo Dosaku finds himself in a little bit of a battle. He's going to try to cut through. Using all of the Aji first, you can see he's creating multiple cut points before he tries to... No, not do that one. Before he goes and uh, takes advantage of the cutting points, he's going to try to use all of the things. All of the things. Or before, uh, sorry, I forgot who's who. Uh, before, not, not Dozaku, before uh, Minutato Yohei tries to do any cuttings. So we've got that. And then we cut, because we've created a ton of cutting points now, right? I mean, these only have four, these have three. This stone has three. Do we actually cut this? Do we... I mean, can can we hold it? I mean, I don't know. This is, this is getting kind of risky, right? But Dosaku goes for it. We get to cut as a result. Cut, 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 cut. Can straighten out these stones a little bit more. Sorry about that. Okay, so now what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Well, we need to make certain that uh, Got a lot of room back here. Running into problems. And then this move hurts so much. Do you see how amazing this uh, tiger's mouth is? It's threatening to kill off this stone immediately, right? And it's threatening to go back and deal with this. Oh, this move hurts so much. White does not lose track of the prize. He's like, this is the problem, not the corner. I'm not going to be distracted by the corner. This is what's trying to grow. So I'm going to keep my eye on the ball and not let my opponent um, convince me he's interested in other things when he's really trying to get into uh, try, trying to get into my area. Black does not give up. It's like you have entered the den. Now you must die. Have to be careful of the liberties on these two stones. Because if we do nothing about this, right? You can see here there's going to be an issue. Right, 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 right. We take. We connect. We connect. And then suddenly, that's a lot of strength. At this point, we don't even care what happens to these stones. I mean, we're about to completely wreck these stones in a minute. But for now, we could also then go back and play here. I mean, wh what do we do now? This has to live? This is now in a terrible shape? Problems, problems everywhere. I mean, wh what could you even begin to do? What could you even begin to do? Right? Uh, so let's get rid of these stones. So instead of that, I think we're here, right? Yes, right. Way of Tower is up. Because if you miss this, you're going to get game over. 
But all right. Since he played here, we have Sente. Get to surround this. Not looking good for Dosaku. Not looking good for Dosaku. So I'm going to try and poke at the cutting points. See if we can put pressure off of us and onto our opponent. That's usually how we defend. Black, again, doesn't get distracted. Second time this game, he was not distracted. He wasn't distracted over here. Um... Or, no, sorry, White wasn't distracted here when he saved his stones, tried to save his stones. And now that White's trying to counterattack and Black's not being distracted by this lie that we're interested in these stones, because we aren't. We are not interested in cutting that in the slightest, are we? You know we're not. Because we can't kill these stones in one move. What are we going to do? Jump out here? That doesn't kill anything. Nothing's dead. So we're not really going to cut that. So now we're in emergency mode. Black says, nope. You are now undercut. White's trying to get some stuff down in the uh, corner because there's this that we're currently fighting over. Right? We cut through, we Atari, oops, we're dead. We go under, we connect, we connect, we turn, oops, we're dead. So that's what we're currently fighting over as a result. This is Sente for white. Now we're kind of getting in the surround a little bit. But black flat out cuts through because he's got a lot of liberties. White tries to fight back. He is Dosaku after all. Black just defends himself, keeping these stones and these stones separated. Behold the empty triangle of amazingness. Sometimes we have to play it. White's still not alive locally, so he must escape. Black follows. I have to bamboo. White, black defends. Comes on out. Black kills. That's a huge pickup in the corner. That's a really that's that's a pretty big corner given the game, right? I mean, we're dealing with kind of small areas of territory. Like there's a little bit of territory in the middle of the board. There's whatever this is. There's no Comey. No Comey. Not sure what that is yet. It can be attacked. Whoops. It can be attacked. Uh, if this stone's actually played, the entire, both groups can be attacked, right? Because we're not, um, we're not completely okay with this yet either. White turns. Black increases his libs. White... Plays the Atari. Black says, go ahead, make my day. White takes. Um, mm. And then connects, I want to say. Yes. White's trying to live. Of 
corner's now dead. Corner's now dead. So the territory stays to white. Um, we could take Incente. We could take right now Incente and force a response here from our opponent. Right? However, after we take, and we ensure that that's going to die, there's a slight issue. Like, if white was to play away right now, this is still going to be very, very large, with this being black's or white's only area of territory, plus, 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 large moves still being on the board. Because this group's under attack, right? So this is probably not going to amount to very much, especially with the weak point behind. Unless, 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 after this move, we defend and just let black resume attacking us. So since this is dead in, in Gote, and there's a large attack on the board still, which is not going to give us time to keep reducing, Dosaku apparently felt he was a little bit behind here and resigned. Congratulations to Minamasato Yohei. Black wins by resignation. The Dosaku falls to Tengen. Because where's his potential? Where's his points coming from? Where are the points coming from? Here? Maybe here? But even that? Is subject to reduction? While you're under attack in the middle of the board? Ooh, it's so... Ah, it's so painful. It's so painful. So the last game... Last game, I did want to point out that... Uh, Yohei did lose. But this one... This one I had to go over because he won it. He actually won the game against Honin Bodosaku. Slight obsession with this pairing. Hope you guys, hope you guys don't mind. I mean, there, there are probably games... Okay, so those of you who actually um, watch or have, like, study games, you know there's, like, castle games, like, super important games that Dosaku played. But, I, I don't know. I like, I like these interesting narratives between these two players. I think it's really bizarre that there's this player that was playing Tengen and... I like looking at all of their matches. Like, forget the super important castle games. Like, no, what happened? What, 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 what other things happened between these two players? I don't know. That, that's what interests me. So I hope you guys don't mind. Well, yeah, we got more Minamisato Yohei goodness versus Honinbo Dosaku. Uh, this time Honin... Uh, Hanbo Dosaku takes black, and one thing I noticed is when uh, Yohei was white against um, Dosaku, he wasn't progressed enough with the whole cosmic style that he would actually play Tengen as white. That's something that we do not see, unfortunately. You see a bit more of an orthodox game from him. Well, orthodox for the time period, anyway, uh, from him. Instead. But what's interesting here is, oh, I don't, I don't really want to say what's interesting here. I don't really want to say what's interesting here. You'll see what's interesting here. Now these two stones are interesting, because they seem to be pointing directly at this three-four stone. White says, 
you know what? You can't. You can take Tengen away from the player, but you can't take the influence out of the player. We're still going to open up 5 4. Diagonal, uh, we're going to take some territory, makes Saints. And now, this is again a game that was played in 1672, right? 1672. Modern attachment straight out of 1672. Going to attach to quickly develop the side. Because why not? I feel really stupid now. Because I said at one point in one of my lectures that, oh yeah, something that we've... Uh, a, modern op a modern way of playing nowadays is to attach, right? Is to attach for against like, something strong to develop a fast framework because we're like we're living in the era of the fast frameworks, man. And yeah, it's like no, we're we we're, we're, this has been around forever. Apparently, it's been around forever and ever and ever. We're attaching for strength, as you can see here. Minusato was a time traveler. It makes you wonder, right? Makes you wonder a little bit. It's like, alright. I got myself a fast framework on the left-hand side. Now, arrogant players would play here and be like, I don't care how you play, but that's not good because you might play this way and try to develop this like really really quickly or I'm you might do a whole bunch of different things but Dosaku plays here saying you have your corner like so and I'm going to drop back into a two space extension that way I get to apply some pressure here there's a three space right so we could play something like this later on Interestingly enough, white actually hits him, I guess, to prevent the Aji here, rather than just defend. He actually hits him. And then plays elsewhere. So that's a thing, apparently. Because <laughs> she's actually just the hipster. Yeah, it's also it's why Street will go up the unknown games too. Absolutely. So far, these are my favorite games of Dosaku's. But all right, uh, once again, we're trying to invite our opponent to give us the outside because we can develop here. Dosaku says, deal. I will do such things. A little bit slow, but keep in mind there's no Komi. Again, a little bit slow, but okay. I guess it does get a response. Two space extension, so we're pretty strong there, I guess. And again, it's the same thing here. In order to ensure we have enough room to live, I guess when they were met with a two-space extension, hitting like this was a very valid move. We don't really see that nowadays. A little bit, uh, a little bit slow, generally. But... Black gets, uh, did Black get Sente? Yeah, Black got Sente from hitting and getting a response to take this lovely extension. White says, do you mind if I threaten to surround you and build up my top side? And Black is like, I'm going to jump out and prevent you from doing that. Because if this is a white stone, then we're in real big trouble here, right?
Oops. Knocks down dog. White pokes. Black connects. Like so. And then shoulder hits in order to try and grow. Black says, I am not going to allow that to occur. So I'm going to begin jumping in. It's almost exactly at the outer edge of that sector line. So he's not going too deep. I mean, my first response would have been to play here instantly. But you have to be careful, though, because I guess moves like this now would be Sente. Otherwise, you're going to allow this to take place, which is absolutely enormous, because now you've just lost all potential on that side of the board. We wouldn't really like that so much. So my first response probably would have sucked. But all right. Black threatens to come in. White plays here. Before I forget, before I forget, before I forget, um, I did notice that Dosaku played someone who... I think might be Chinese. Though it's a handicap game. And it reminded me a bit of Longsha style. I might be going over that one too. I might be going over that one next week. A uh, four stone handicap game. Where it looks like he's playing a Chinese player. I'm not sure. I have to research the guy's name a little bit more to see who he was. But alright, um, so white takes an enclosure, black blocks extension, so this is really good for black. Black got to extend over here, black got to extend from here, looks very, very nice. And now the next move, I never would have seen coming, it's weird. Like I mentioned that they do tend to play that slow move, like we saw last game just to ensure that, you know, shape is fine, right? White fixes here. It looks like a slow move, but at the same time, it's threatening a complete surround. Now that we're nice and strong here, we could play a small knight, and no matter where we play as black, I mean, we can't we can't stay out, right? So it looks like a small move, but it's threatening to enclose everything. So black responds, doesn't want to be enclosed. White is gleefully able to respond. Because this is, uh, what is this, 4, 5, 6, 7th line? That's nice. Black says, okay, let's just make sure that we're alive here. White's like, are you really? I do not think so. I'm assuming he responds, yeah, he does. White connects back Su. And now, another seemingly small move. Another seemingly small move, but he's being very careful. He doesn't have to reduce all of this because he has his territory here and here, right? So if he can get in a forcing move, another move in here to cut that off, that's a lot of points. That's worth a lot of points. So I like how steady this move is, because from here we can go deeper, but we're not going to risk it now and still have potential for our opponent to cut us off, right? So I dig how, how uh, steady that move is. And white's like, nope. This area is mine. 
And Black's like, okay, then this area is mine. White reduces black. Black counterattacks slightly. We can push up once before going under. That's normal, normal continuation. And then white plays a move that's arguably slow. Why is this move arguably slow? Why would I argue that that move is slow? This is a move that almost all of you respond to. Almost all of you would respond to that move. Why shouldn't you? Why should you not do such things? Anyone know? If you're looking at that move and you're saying, well, that move is a little bit slow because there are larger things on the board. I would say congratulations, that's the right answer, but do you know what larger things are on the board? And if you say, yes, I could extend here, you can, but it's not, not overly large. If you say, yes, I can extend here, same. If you say, yes, because there is a group I can attack and a huge hole with my name on it. Then I would say, congratulations, you are a good player. Not only are we threatening further reduction, but we're also threatening the two stones. White says, mine. And now this is something that I want everyone to pay attention to. Because we could just be like, herp derp I'm attacking now. But no, we don't want to attack just one thing because it's easy, especially for a professional, to just live with that one thing that's under attack. No, 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 no. We're going to not actually touch that group right now. If white's like, well, I need to live back in here, then maybe we get to free invasion. Maybe we get a free invasion. If white says, whoops, too many stones off the board. If white says, you can't invade right now, then maybe plot thickens. We're looking to create more chaos because there's something weak on the board. And the more chaos that we can actually have right in the middle of the board, the more that thing is not going to be happy. Black's high school romance is strong. Exactly. We're like, ooh, I really, really want that corner. And Boyd is like, you cannot have that corner. And now Black is like, oh man, no, 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 no. Don't. It, it's, it's not the corner. It was, it was always this base. It's always this base. I was always interested in this base. Come on. It, it's, it's, it's just you and me, man. Let's. We, we can do great things together. It's like, okay, well, I, I don't want you to have that either. It's like, well, I'm, I'm going to kill you. I, I'm going to surround you. This stone's not dead yet. Come on, man, I really want this group. Oh, I so want this group. And White's like, no. You can't fool me. I, don't, I, know, I know you want this group. You can't have this group. solidifies his points before commencing an attack. So patient, so patient. White's like, well, I guess you're not interested in these two stones. I'm going to save them. Black's like, nope, I'm not interested in those stones in any way, shape, or form. Don't mind the fact that I'm reducing you right now in Sente. I have no intention of attacking those two stones. Nope. None whatsoever. Oh, hey, look, free reduction. 
This is actually huge. I hadn't, I hadn't actually seen this before, by the way. Going into uh, this for a free reduction here. In order to hit that, I thought it was pretty cool. Like an idiot, I probably would have played here. But that's kind of sexy. So we got reduction here going on. Free reduction, free reduction. That large knight is not really doing so much for territory now. Sentai, because we have the we have the cutting point, right? Hello, it's too early. We defend. We grow. We grow in a good area here now. Again with the end game. White is obsessed with his end game up top of the board, man. He is obsessed. But all right. That is end game. White even defends himself again. I do want to take a moment to point out, White has now spent two moves in the middle of the board to defend himself. Uh, if we blocked at 018, which I think is here, if I, if I know. Here? I'm confuzzled. Is that 018? Looks like 018. I don't know how Black's going to block at 018. Oh, drop it down. Uh, then we get to extend up. Yeah, then we have um, a wall here going up the board, right? For Black. And then we could Hane and get that in. But yeah, I want to point out that we have now spent two moves to defend ourselves in the cor in the middle. And that defense has left behind a large knight. Whatever this is, and a two-space extension. Black going for damages. It's like, how are you going to defend? How are you going to defend? And black's, white says, I want to defend this way. So black cuts. Like, uh, is there anything over here? White's like, no, go away. This is my area. Extends. Just creating Aji. Just creating Aji. Surrounding and growing. White says, I can't allow you to do that. I'm sorry. But here's my territory, and here is my territory. Whereas here is yours, and if you get this, how am I going to compete? I mean, I have no Comey, man. I've got no Comey. I don't even know what Comey is yet. Can't let you get that. So again, I go back to high school. It's like, I really, really want to try to hurt you on the side. White says no. It's like, come on, please. You know, this is the only group that I want. And White says, no. And Black says, come on, don't be like that. You know, you, you, you know, you, you know, you know, we belong together. And White says, no. Um. Yeah. It's like, are you sure? Oops. Yes. Uh, black's over here, so white's over here. Atari. Take. 
Not fighting the stupid co. Can't make me. Can't make me. Not fighting no stupid co. Nope. Nope. Nope, not fighting no stupid co. I am just completely surrounding you and solidifying myself. But the danger of that is that. Uh-oh. 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 We've got a problem. White's made a boo-boo. Blocks from connection. Forced to go up. Uh-oh. This is the definition of what you never want to see in your game. This is the definition of what you never, ever, ever want to see in your game. Your weak group is running to your weak connections. This is the absolute definition of what you never want to see in your game. Ever, 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 ever. Don't want to see it. Trying to fight back. We don't even care. We're just going to make ourselves stronger in the middle. Because looky, looky, looky. Slowly but surely, we're being pushed over to the connection. Try not to lose the stones. Black says, do you mind if I just cut on in? I heard this was a dance. Connects on up. Takes the stone. White plays the Hane, but it's too little too late. You cannot save this. You can see the problem here. White tries to reduce all the things. But black is still fighting. Forcing a retreat. Into finally cutting off. That as they say, is a problem. Those poor, poor center stones. White tries to connect. Black has other ideas still. Testing connection. Plays the Atari. Black comes on out and says, you know what? I'm okay with a co. Suddenly, this game, man. This game. We're currently fighting for all of this. Because Black's just trying to, like, gobble it all up. All right, we're now in a co. But where, oh, where could we get those threats? That's going to be worth a fair number. It looks like without Tengen, Mr. Yohei has troubles.
or maybe it's the fact that he has no Komi. That that could be it too. Black is being a glutton. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? Look at my co threats. Aren't they amazing? Have to not be dead. We turn, we're dead. Tari. Compromise. Again, compromise. Huge, huge compromise. Tries to poke in. Is denied. Again, denied. And denied. Tries to get more territory for himself. Escalating the co again. Back to the middle. Black was playing the co all along when he, yep, probably. Given how long they had to play these games, that would not shock me in the slightest. Back to co. Hey, look, more threats. White has to cut, which leaves more threats. He is the co-master. It's like, how about I just connect up? Can we, can we live and let live, please? Please live and let... No? Okay. Or not. I guess, I guess I'm still fighting for my life then. That's okay. Black backs off and takes territory. White tries to resist. Black says, no, you can't block me. I'm going to cut you if you try that. Cut now works. So we're going back to Ko again. But now we've got threats over here in order to try to live. I don't remember when I picked this game that this co went on quite so long. But apparently it did. Apparently it did. Seems a lot faster when you're scrolling through the game. Atari, uh, co threat. Respond. Respond. This next one I like because we have this, right? But Black says, nope, there's no I here. I will cut you instead. So White says, okay, I'll cut you. We pull back. Stone gets taken. Again, not connected up yet. And now we have a problem. You see the problem? Do you see the problem now? We have to cut, we have to connect. But that connection is gote. If we connect, that's gonna get filled. And then white's dead. So white tries something different. Black doesn't care. There is no Atari here. Atari up, connect, Atari. Nothing works. So, White has to resign. No choice. No choice. 
If we connect, we lose this. Right? If we connect here, that's a, that's a problem. And if we keep fighting the co, it's still a problem. Because you would lose those stones in Gote. And then we would just keep going on our merry way with endgame. Did I mention that I love these games? Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed today's finals. I hope you enjoyed today's games. I don't know what we're gonna do. No, no I do know. I already said, yeah, we're gonna do uh, the four handicap game that Dosaku played against what sounds like a Chinese player. So we'll be doing um, some handicap with Dosaku, and that'll wrap up Dosaku for now. We'll probably move to another player. I don't really know who yet. I have not decided. I mean, there's the obvious choice of Shusaku, who we haven't gone over yet, but mm, I don't know. We'll see who we, we'll see who we do next week or week after that, rather. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.